Hello, I'm Paolo Shakarian, CEO and co-founder of Syracon. Thank you for joining me today. In today's blog, we look at why vulnerability management needs machine learning to really evolve. And in it, we explore the roots of vulnerability management, how in the late 90s, just having a scanner greatly improved security because there were so few known vulnerabilities at the time. And then we look at how that changed and how in say 2017, for example, when the National Institute of Standards expanded the numbering authorities for vulnerabilities, which was great from a disclosure standpoint, not so good from a standpoint of vulnerability management where teams were already being overwhelmed. And as a result, that's why we saw in 2017 and the following years after that, a significant rise in attacks and breaches due to known vulnerabilities. And this continues to this very day. Uh, today, we now see about 1,600 new vulnerability disclosures every month, and teams struggle to get ahead. CVSS scoring, uh, while it was a useful tool maybe you know, 10, 20 years ago, no longer provides the necessary level of triage, nor is it predictive of what the bad guys are going to use. And this opens the door to modern machine learning methods in order to get ahead of the attackers and predict what they're going to do. So thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the article. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help impact this new paradigm and improve the security and uh, predict what's going to be exploited next in your enterprise, please contact Syracon. Thank you very much.